Balafa Kono. The youth in this country, let's stop stalking and fight our right until we see our beautiful dream. Since 1965, we get independent, we don't see any changes in this country. The youths have been complaining, they say there is nothing getting easier in this country. So leaders, almol moy kumbola bang. Ale fonin ke li mako ngana banko samba kairo kono. The youth as the youth develop us support the country in order to be physically strong in the community while in the society. The system of ruling in this country is not giving any attention to the youth of this country. Nanyu mon le miraro fo be duari fo ngol le fo be serling banko ni nyatota fo be duari. The youth are smooth looking and well respected in our country. Mm -hmm. His Excellency, you are Mr. No Age from Porek to Courage. The youth are not having any employment or to be educated because of the hardness of this country. So let the president stop, let down in the youth of this country. Mm -hmm. the, youth are, the youth have been suffering, dying because of the hardness of this country. I can see the hopelessness on act of the youth of this country. His Excellency, tell your minister of youth to youth are struggling how to see their beautiful dream. Mm -hmm. If we do not work for this country, we are going to leave it for ourselves. The youth, are, the youth have been traveling to another country and that despair alone hurt to the country. Do you know? Do you know what is important in this country? Let's see each other as a Gambian. Gambia belongs to every Gambian. Let the leaders do something for the country so that the youth can come back and work for their country. Leaders, alunga mul makoi, ganda banko samba kero kon. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Welcome thank back you. once again. Um, it's another edition of your favorite show. Um, this is all about VM International TV show. Once again, I'm your host by the name VM Trawale. Um, today, we're going to talk about a lot because we believe that our youths are really going a lot. They are going through a lot of challenges, but yet nobody is there to support them. And we believe that the government really have to do something. Um, doing something in a sense that by providing job opportunity for the youths. The youths really need, you know, to work. They really need to do a lot of things together in order to make the Gambia the smiling coast of Africa. Africa. Now, the question is, what is our leaders doing? What is our leaders actually doing to protect the youths of this country? We have seen different people, especially the youths. They have been um, going through the back way. Um, before we said, um, it was said that um, we were, uh, it was said that you know, the European people come and take us and use us as a slave. But now we are embarking um, through another journey of, uh, um, 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 through another journey going to Europe. Why? Because our youths, why? Because our government is not really helping. So we need job opportunity. We need a lot of things to put it together. Yeah. On that note, I would love to welcome Omar on my show, VM International TV yeah. show. Yeah. Um, welcome. Can you kindly introduce yourself to the people and tell us exactly why you decided to raise up this farm? Yeah, like what I say, my name is Omar Fati, Omar N. Fati. Yeah, the reason why I like to voice this point to be with to the world, I want to tell the presidents and his cabinet that the youth have been suffering. Mm -hmm. The reasons why I say this, because I see so many people going to this bag way mm -hmm. and they are dying there because of there is nothing here. That's why I sit and then I write this point. To so do you think that the government of Republic of the Gambia it could be anyone? Because when you talk about government, it's not an individual alone. It, it is a collective people. Um, that are living, born, and raised up in the Gambia. Do you think that um, there, do you think that we, we will have a better life in the future as a Gambians? Yeah. How? I, I know. I know we will have a better life in future. Okay. Yeah. Because if, if anybody who see this uh, 
videos, mm -hmm. you will really know that the Gambians have been suffering because they need a help. We need a help. People have been suffering. Yeah. And have you been suffering? Yeah, I have been suffering. How? In which category? In which way have you been su suffering? Because I do so many things. Because there was a time I was going to this quarry. So many people call it quarry. Mm -hmm. I was going there because there was nothing. Mm -hmm. I was going there for working. I was digging these stones. Stones? Yeah, stones. I wow. was digging these stones and then pelt it and take it to these 10 wheelers, mm -hmm. these vehicles, and the vehicles used to take it to the places where people normally walk. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you were given a platform on the um, 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 December 25th, yeah. Christmas Day in Brikama, and it was a huge platform where millions of people appear. And you were one of the Gambians that really went out, and you came out the top runner up. Tell us what was the title of your platform. Yeah, the title of the platform was The Difficulty Faced by the Youth of This Country. You still don't give up? Yeah, I don't still give up, yeah. And do you think since you started raising out your pain and, you know, plight to the people, did you ever see changes? Yeah, I don't see changes still because I don't see any changes still. Do you, think, do you think in the next five years Gambia will be a better co uh, country? Yeah, I think. You think so? Yeah. So, um, please, you can face out your platform. Let us hear that as well. Yeah. My platform was focusing on the empowering children and the youth of this country. Mm -hmm. Well, we all aware that youth are the backbones of every developing nation, mm -hmm. while child are the creams of every smiling stage. Definitely. Yeah. First of all, I would like to ask who is a youth and a child? Mm -hmm. A youth is anybody or anyone who is above 18 years of age, while a child is anyone who is below 18. My beautiful audience, you all be a witness that both youth and children are neglected, confusion and upset as a result of lack of employment, proper health care, and lack of access education. Starting from nursery to university level, indeed, we are nowhere. Yet we are proud to call our noble countries the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia. To me, this is not the smiling coast we focus for. From my own point of view, I consider this statement as a smiling cause of corruption. Where our leaders are known for stealing from the taxpayer, a facility full of selfishness, greediness, irresponsibility, and immature leader whom does not know the value and the quality of being a good and a sound leader of their own. Mm -hmm. How do we expect them? to empower the youth and the children of this country, the Gambia. From the First Republic to the Third Republic, where are we since we again our independence? The simplest answer, we are nowhere. Yet we are proud to call our noble country the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia. The youth of the country is time to rest up, is time to speak us our mind. This is one reason why the success and the failures of every developing nation depend on the youthful population. So thank you. Let's put our hands together once again. <laughs> Indeed, um, this is a clear message. And as a result, he came out the top runner up. Um, looking at it, we need a sponsor for this show. Um, if you really want to sponsor VM International TV show, um, don't mind to call us um, either WhatsApp us, plus 2203699555, plus 2203699555, or you simply call um, directly plus 2202699555. Um, it's all about empowering the youths. It's all about empowering the children. And you and I are aware that um, the children cannot go without the youth, and the youths cannot go um, without the children because we believe that the children will one day become the leader of this continent or rather the, this country. So Gambia, we have a long way to go. But the only way or positive way for us to achieve our goals and aims is to consider ourselves. Yeah. If we consider ourselves, definitely we will get to that um, mountain. If we actually consider ourselves, we will be brothers for real. Yeah. If we really consider ourselves, we will be a strong nation. If we consider ourselves as one people, 
definitely this red white blue mm, white green, green will definitely be the country of the smiling coast of africa the gambia so on that note um, i'm proud for your victory i'm also proud for you know you expressing this point of view and i hope millions of people will definitely learn from this we want you to learn we want you to understand and we want you to find reasons we are not arguing with anybody we all are leaders of our own and we all have something to do and offer for our nation it is said um, um think of think of what you can do for your nation but don't think of what your nation can do for you so if you can really do something for your country i think it's peaceful it's novel and it's, 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 it, it is everything. So um, finally, before we go, what is your message? What is your concrete message that you will put to, you will love to put across? Then you give us your last poem and we say goodbye. Yeah, my last message will be to, still to advise the leaders of the country. And why the leaders, not the youth, not the children? Yeah, because I can see the leaders, they are the ones who should help them. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm talking about the leaders. Okay. Because I can see people are still suffering, mm -hmm. especially the how people are going to this bag way. Because the leaders are not doing what people are expecting. Mm -hmm. Because they, ha they, they should do what people are expecting. Because if you see these people are going to this bag way, because there is no employment here. I think the government should provide more, more factories and these industries so that the youth can stop going to this bag way. Mm -hmm. Because when there is no factories or industries here, the youth, definitely, the youth or the children will go to these bag ways. Mm -hmm. So are you trying to encourage the youth also to go? Like in Europe, um, if you look at it, for example, um, before they gain their freedom, I mean total freedom, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. They fought for it. Yeah. They fought for it yeah. to the last level. Although people die, millions of people were, you know, um, killed, you know, thousands of them were injured, you know, millions of them were locked up, yeah. you know. But as a result, today they have their freedom. Do you think we, as Africans, we can fight, we can also fight our right? We can also explain to our leaders that this is what we need and we need a positive change because we are paying our tax every day. We are doing our best to make sure that everything is intact. But then why is our youth or um, leaders lacking behind? So what advice will you put across to the youth as well and to the children? Yeah, <coughs> what you have been saying is true that because if you want to fight your rights here, the leaders sometimes they may send those and means to are you scared? Are you, are you scared to fight your right? Yeah. You're scared to fight your right? Yeah. Why? I'm because I can see the way the things are going is so badly. You shouldn't be afraid. Ah. This is what we call democracy. The beauty of democracy is to express yourself like what you're doing. Number one. Number two, if you have democracy, you can change the world by using your voice to change. Yeah. We don't need we we weapons. We don't need guns. We don't need anything that will harm us. But we can use our voice to change the world. So looking at it, you shouldn't be afraid to talk about your freedom. Because if you are fighting for your freedom and you are scared, then there is no need for you to fight for your freedom. You what know, do you think? You know why the, I say that? No. Because Explain. In during those days, mm -hmm. if you want to go out for fight your right or the freedom of the country, mm -hmm. those armies or those NIAs are the ones who used to kick. Yeah, that was yeah. before. Yeah. But now we are in the Third Republic. I know. We are in the Third Republic. And hopefully we will go into the Fourth Republic, Fifth Republic, Sixth Republic. What about if the same leader continue, or not as the same, but if the process continue will you still sit down and fall your hand and say leaders leaders hey. no 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 if you do that you will die there really yeah okay <laughs> finally before we go give us your final words because we are working against time and i want to remind the people again if you really want to sponsor this show um please do so because it's one of the most educative show that comes live on vm international tv remember 
VM International TV is an online TV. We are live on Facebook and of course on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe us and don't also forget to like our page on Facebook. Again, um, follow us on Instagram, VM International TV One. And I would love to use this medium to thank each and everyone that are watching us. And please do share. And before we go, give us, give us your last poem and say, we say goodbye. Yeah, my last poem will be education. And yes, the yeah. place is all yours. Education. Education. Education is the process of expanding people's ability and maintain their equal knowledge. Mm -hmm. Education does not simply happen. It has to be planted with our skills so that good people make good use of it. The purpose of education is to help young and old people to live in full personal life. In the Gambia, education is increasing beginning experience within and outside the world. Education is the, education is the flavor of life. In the Gambia, parents are still unwilling to send their children to school because of Western education is evil. Education is the mental and physical power of individuals. Mm -hmm. Education keeps somebody up to a social ladder, and education is the way of getting income. Without education, without education, there will be no ministers or presidents of the country. So thank you. Once again, let's put our hands together for Omar, Omar Fati. Am I right? Yeah. yeah, so Mr. Omar Fati, thank you so much for that wonderful poem, and thank you so much for that wonderful advice. Um, education, indeed, it is the key, and it is the power. It is the light that brings the future. So if you really want to um, be aware, you really have to make sure that you and um, bear in mind that you, know, you learn, go back, and read. It is said in the Quran, Ikra to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon on him. So why not you and I? Why not you and I? So education is the message. Education is what will create life for you. And education is the beginning here on earth and is the end um, hereafter. Because if you are educated, you will be aware. You will know exactly what you will do and what not to do. And of course, if you are educated, um, you will be well guided and directed, you know. So on that note, um, it is uh, um, 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 Nelson Mandela said, education is the key to success. So every successful man has gone through um, education. So there are some people might think that education is all about going to school. Education could be either directly or no, indirectly. indirectly. So I want you all to understand this. On that note, I am VM Trawale. I would love to use this medium to thank my manager, who is um, actually behind the screen of um, the camera. Um, he is the technician today, and of course the man, the brain behind VM International TV. A big shout out going out to you. And in fact, to everybody, um, one like um, Dado, I wanna say thank you. And of course, to everybody that are actually giving me hope. Those in diaspora, remember, Gambia is lonely. Leaders, Gambia is still lonely, and it is lonely as a result of your incapability. Um, if you are not, in, if you are not cap capable of um, handling the position, please do as how Nelson Mandela do. And yet, Nelson Mandela was really capable of running the position of his leadership, but he decided to hand it over because he doesn't want to corrupt and he doesn't want to stay over power. So freedom is what we fight for and freedom is coming Come tomorrow. tomorrow. On that note, I am your host called VM Trawale. I would love to thank Sedina for being part of us here. And he's the one who actually gave us the ground to do what we are doing. And of course, not forgetting um, everybody. On that note, ciao, love you, bye bye. bye.